All right, this is uh, John Brass from RunMichigan.com talking to Keith Hansen. Uh, day before the uh, 2012 Olympic trials down here in Houston. Um, and I know, uh, Keith, you guys got a lot of athletes down here. So how many men and how many women do you have? Well, we've got 16 athletes running all together, 11 men, five women. Um, you know, a few of our people that have been, like Orion Sheehan, who now lives in Kentucky, and, and Jeremy Cressona lives in Florida. Um, obviously, the vast majority of them are training with us daily in Michigan and have been training with us for uh, 11 of them down in Florida here for the whole Florida segment before coming up here. Um, a few like Dot McMahon and Clint Viren didn't come down to Florida, but obviously did all the training for, until the last five weeks with us and then did the same workouts back at home on their own. Um, Clint being a little different as he just qualified at Cal International, but Dot has been right in the same schedule as, uh, as Desi and Mel and Aaron and Lavina, so she's all ready to go. All right, and uh, I know uh, you have the, uh, on the women's side, you have the basically the top contender uh, who's coming in with a top time um, from uh, Boston in 2011 when uh, Desi finished second there. Um, right. So I, I assume that's got to be uh, exciting for you guys and probably a little nervous too. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's not necessarily nervous because, because Desi's desire to compete, um, she's excited about it. You know, and she has a, again, I've said it before, she's very unique in her approach and, and she, she helps make us as coaches less nervous because she knows what her fitness level is and she just executes that day. And so we know where she's at and we know what she can do and she always goes out and does it. And uh, I'm sure it's uh, for her it's been a little different this time around, probably with a lot more media attention, right, uh, yep. coming into this race. So. It has. It has obviously been a lot of attention uh, placed upon her with the fastest time and her recent performance at Boston and having some great competition that she's running against. But people that maybe haven't had as many experiences as her, and so it's kind of exciting to see how that plays out. Um, now, how, how about on the men's side? Uh, who, who do you look as, like, your top uh, runners coming in that are going to be uh, trying to get a spot on the men's side? You know, I mean, our top contender right now is Mike Morgan. Mike has had a, a fantastic segment, and uh, he ran a, a nice 218 over in uh, uh, over in Korea, which sometimes gets under-recognized because of the heat. People don't recognize what that really converts to, but the reality is that uh, um, he had a pretty good race there, and his segment has been great this time. This is the first time Mike's had two, in my opinion, two back-to-back -back solid segments like this, and I really think, from our experience, it's often that an athlete really pops one in that second segment that is, 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 is as successful as that, um, and they get a big PR, and I think that Mike is definitely primed to get a big PR. He ran 214 in Chicago off of less than ideal training, and now um, I think he can run much, much better than that. So I expect Mike to be able to have a big PR out there on tomorrow. And what, uh, you know, on the, on the men's side, what do you, um, what do you guys, uh, I guess, from a strategy-wise, what do you, how do you go into that with, uh, you know, I know you got uh, somebody like Ryan Hall out there who can really fly, and then, but then there's, it seems like there's a whole pack of other people that are just sitting back there behind, you know. Well, so. I always joke with the athletes when I talk to them and say, you know what, you know, you know the, the most efficient way to run a race, and we certainly have practiced that. And, 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 and somebody like Mike, who's not a favorite, who's going to be coming up, you know, his whole idea is to, to get to the finish line as fast as he can. So the best strategy for somebody like him on a nice, calm, cool day like that is to run his race and to be able to finish in the time that he's capable of finishing in. So he can't control what others do, but he can control what his finish time. And I'll say something along this lines that, you know, if you're ready to run 2.12 and change, if you run it efficiently, 2.12 and change is going to beat a tactical 2.13 and change. So uh, run your race and don't worry about what others do out there and let's see if that puts you in contention. Certainly the last four or five miles, it would be nice if he could be run some people down that puts them in contention. But if, 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 it's, if it's too fast for what he's capable of, then, then, then that's what it is. But we know what he's capable of, and that's something we do in our workouts, and we learn that. And so he'll run to his capabilities and see where that falls. Yeah. What do you think on the men's side? What do, what do you think uh, you're gonna have, that somebody's going to have to run to make that top three? Is that You guys have kind of an I, idea? I honestly you're... believe that it'll be in the 212 range. Okay. I know a lot of people think it's going to be 210, 211. I think it'll be around 212. Now, it is going to be ideal condition, so it could be under 212. I don't think it'll be under 211, though. So that's my opinion. I think it'll be right around 212 flat um, because I think that some people that have run some fast times might not be ready out there tomorrow. All right. And then now on the women's side, um, like we were talking about earlier, Desi's definitely coming in with a top time, but you also have uh, Top McMahon and Melissa White that uh, also um, have times that are, you know, that could definitely fall in that top three. So it's got to be exciting out there to have, you know, where you, you have, I guess, three athletes that have potential to make that team, right? It is. It seems like uh, for whatever reason, you know, Mike has gotten a little bit of attention. Dot's gotten a little bit of attention. But Melissa's been largely ignored. And Melissa's very fit and ready to go as well. And you're right. Dot and Melissa are kind of 
relying on the same sort of situation as Mike. They're going to run the race. They're going to see what happens. And I think, you know, in their case, uh, you know, I. I it, it'll be real interesting in, in both cases to see what happens when, when, when things get a little, get, get going pretty quick out there, you know, how people respond to that and what happens out there, and we'll, we'll find out. But I, but I really do think that they're in a good position um, to try to pick off people that maybe got too aggressive out there. Yeah. Now on the, on the women's side, I know, you know we've got, definitely got some fast women uh, that are going to be out there tomorrow, but uh, I'm sure they're not going to be pushing as fast as they can go. Um, uh, what, what are you guys looking there that you might think have, what, a time that would have to fall in that top three? You know, I still think you're, you, you know, you're going to have to be able to run. It's real interesting because it, you know, I think there's some wild cards out there. I think there's a lot of wild cards. I mean, honestly, nobody really knows where Dina's at, and Dina's quite experienced and has, has run some great times in the past, and you have to respect that. Um, but it's been a long time since she's run some great times. Uh, nobody knows where Kara's at. She's had a coaching change, so who knows where her fitness level's at. Um, Shalane has run one marathon and ran it very well, but it was a tactical marathon. So there's a lot of wild cards there, so I don't, I don't know um, what those people can do or what they're capable of doing, and I guess we'll find that out tomorrow. But I think that, uh, um, you know, it's still, I mean, on, on paper, you probably look at, you're probably going to have to run a 227 or so to make that team. Some people are staying a little quicker, but I think that's the range. Um, you know, I think that you know, Dot and Mel are both capable of running at 229 range, so they're going to have to have something happen for them to get a chance right. to make that team. Right. Well, like I say, it's, uh, you know, it's, I mean, oh, it's going to be an exciting race tomorrow. It's the first time we get to see the men and women on the same course at the same time with just a 15-minute difference. So it's, uh, I'm sure it's going to be interesting for you guys, too, uh, just like all the rest of us out there trying to figure out where to be at and uh, <laughs> to catch what's going on tomorrow. It will be interesting. There will be a lot going out there, so we'll see how it, uh, yeah. it's getting out there. It's going to be a lot of fun, but, uh, but, but my brother and I will be in different spots on the course, so we'll be communicating with each other and trying to get updates from each other. But uh, it's a great criterion course. You should be able to see quite a bit out there. And like I said, it's got to be exciting for you guys with uh, all the athletes you got here uh, for racing tomorrow. And like I said, on both sides, definitely have people, you know, you know with the potential to make the team. So. It's very exciting. You know, I, not just the athletes that we have here, but the athletes have been a part of our program at some time or another. There will be athletes I'll be cheering for out there. So um, absolutely, it'll be, it's a real fun day. It's a real fun weekend. You know, see a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time. And, and, it's, and, it's, and it's a great camarader camaraderie in this sport. So, um, yeah, I'm wishing everybody best out there. And it looks like it's going to be a perfect weather day. So hopefully people are going to have a real good time and uh, we'll have some great performances. All right. Thanks, Keith. Right, thanks, John.